All right, let's move on now to the fuel. So just like a sports car, you need the right fuel to perform at your best. Now, if you've ever driven a car or been with your parents and gone to the petrol station, you'll see that there are different fuels. There's diesel, there's unleaded 91, 95, 98, and there's other things that you can get for specific trucks and different vehicles as well. So just like that, your body needs specific fuels if the goal is to perform well. So the best fuel that you guys can focus on is wholemeal carbohydrates like rice, bread, pasta, and oats. Okay, we're gonna aim for real food rather than processed food in a packet. We're gonna make sure that we are staying hydrated to fuel all those chemical reactions required to take that fuel, break it down, and use it as energy. So before your game or your training session, we need to make sure we're fueled up. Just like we're at the start of a race, our car needs to be full of fuel. Okay, we don't want to run out halfway through. So the key here is we want to fuel our bodies with sustained energy. That's going to get us all the way through the game. Okay, but we don't want to be too full. That's another key consideration. So all the foods you eat mostly contain a mixture of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Okay, they make up the bulk of what we eat daily. Before we exercise, we need carbohydrates specifically, not fats, not proteins. Okay, and we want to make sure our fuel tank is full. Okay, so this is an example of what you can try, backed by science, backed by what the top athletes are doing. So before our game, we're going to aim for two to three hours. Uh, we're going to have a large, low GI wholemeal pasta, rice, bread, or oats. And what does this mean? Large, we want a lot of food. Okay, we're giving ourselves two to three hours to digest this food. So hopefully by the time we're training or playing, it won't be bouncing up and down in our stomachs. Okay. We want low GI, okay? So this means that it's gonna release our energy slowly and consistently for hours rather than a quick spike of energy for a few minutes, all right? One hour before, we wanna to top up our fuel stores once again, okay? So we're gonna look at things like a muesli bar, banana, and water, okay? So these are gonna actually be medium or even high GI. So we're gonna get that energy in, it's gonna be broken down really quickly, and it's not going to make us full. And then about 30 minutes before, we're gonna to top up those energy stores once again by lollies and sports drinks and sugar and things like that to really make sure that our fuels are topped up, ready to go. And a bit of a bonus tip here, if you've got caffeine available, have a go at that. Caffeine is amazing, it improves performance dramatically and it reduces the perception of fatigue. Okay, so we're gonna look at intra-exercise fuel now. So in most sports, you've got a half time or you might even have a couple of quarters where you got breaks for a couple of minutes to have a rest and refuel, okay? This is a really good opportunity to top up your fuel tank to maintain your performance and intensity throughout the game, okay? So we're gonna, again, we're gonna focus on small, simple carbohydrates in the form of sugars or glucose because they are easily digestible, okay? And they're gonna give us the energy hit we need really quick. A couple of examples might be a sports drink, half a banana, some glucose jelly beans or lollies, or even a glucose mouth rinse, okay, where you don't even have to swallow it, you just swirl it around in your mouth, and the glucose actually is absorbed through your mouth, okay, and then you can spit it out, and you still get that performance boost without consuming liquid or having stuff in your stomach while you're running around. And finally, once we've finished our training session, once we've finished our game, we need to refuel as soon as possible, okay? So just like when we're in a car and our low fuel light comes on, looks like this one, time is key for refueling, okay? You don't want to run out of fuel in the middle of nowhere, okay? Similarly, you don't want to run out of fuel, so then the next session, you're not at your max. All right, so this is really, really important. You basically have a 30 to 60 minute window Okay, as soon as you finish exercise, where you must consume glucose, sugars, fuel, to replenish the stores that you use during your game or your session, okay? So if you manage to do that, all right, you will replenish that to 100%, so all the way to the top of the tank after about 24 hours. However, if you delay this, you don't get that glucose into your system as soon as possible, okay? If you wait, for example, three to five hours, you won't get back up to 100% for up to five days. So time is key. So as soon as you've finished sports drinks, lollies, glucose gels, flavored milks, any of these things are really good at getting that glucose back into your system as soon as possible to help 
kickstart that recovery process. All right, so just like we spoke about before, the right fuel is key, okay? Quality is as important as quantity when it comes to fueling ourselves for performance. Do you know what happens if you put petrol in a diesel car or standard unleaded 91 in a race car? Something along these lines, it is not good. Boom. So your body is the same. It won't explode necessarily, but the wrong fuel will not help it perform well. So as I've spoken about a few times, carbohydrate is key for the majority of sports. Okay, it's the preferred fuel source of the body during exercise. Okay, and then once we've got through those carbohydrate stores, the body's going to switch to our fats and then our proteins in extreme cases. Okay, so very simply, give the body what it wants and you'll be rewarded with sustainable energy and performance. So here's a visual game day nutrition plan. Okay, you'll notice there's a bit of overlap between all three parts of a session. So before our game or session, we're gonna again go through our low GI carbs. Okay, a sandwich is a great idea, muesli bars is a great idea. Okay, and then just before, we're gonna top up those fuel stalls with bananas, lollies, sugars, and we're always gonna be hydrating ourselves with water. Half time is very simple, very similar. We're going to hydrate, get some sugars into us, get us through the rest of the game. After the game, we're going to again hydrate, get some sugars into us, and then we're gonna switch our focus to protein, okay? Chocolate milk is probably the best thing you can possibly have after a game or sport or session. And then we're gonna make sure that we're refueling our system with a large meal full of protein and full of carbs.